brand new releases from Dolce & Gabbana gemstone eyeshadow palette quartz harmony and as usual I will show you and I will guide you step by step creating a makeup look with this beautiful eyeshadow that couldn't be more perfect for the upcoming holidays. Since I received holiday collection from Valentino the case friend couldn't be more beautiful. Sweet Rebel I'm going to be providing swatches and I'm going to be using the product on my face. I ordered and I received Gucci the second shade and was sold out everywhere. 10 limited edition soft peach they launch two shades but this shade for reasons friends was completely sold out intense ruby and soft peach these are the holiday edition from gucci i'm going to be providing such as demos and creating a very trendy makeup look as i'm going to proceed with the tutorial for my face and priming, I'm showing from for first time Anna Sui, the foundation face priming. I'm using whatever is in the lid because it's plenty. Wow, it's very creamy. This is my first video, friends, of the week. I was very sick. I don't know if I ever mentioned, but I suffer from migraines. And this episode of my my grandfriends took me almost to end in the emergency. Look at the glow, friends. Look, this is completely in a gel, creamy form. Okay, if, wow, it's literally a gel product. The glow effect that the product produces is just beautiful not as blurring as my tone 4 that produce an immediate blurring effect but look for yourself friends the glow on the face I had a horrendous migraine that lasts me literally 4 or 5 days today is the first day actually I'm feeling much better for the people that suffer from this horrendous illness is very debilitating okay so if I'm a little slow you forgive me for that so I'm going to be using for my foundation Le Pretty. so regarding shade on everything I will be listing this on the description box below So it's a lot to do today. My channel is advocated to teach. Every single makeup tutorial involves a teaching lesson. If I'm not going to be able, friends, to express what I'm doing specifically, you know, for me, it doesn't have any value. And it's not a commercial channel. I don't know how you feel about that. You let me know. You can give me some feedback regarding this intros you know i'm trying to make it efficient you know for you to don't waste your time with me meanwhile i'm applying the product right and i will proceed with this stunning beautiful skin caviar powder foundation compact and honey beige neutral warm 30 and this is how this powder compact powder look if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe like and comment i really ask you to do that and i want to share with you as well my channel is almost reaching 4100 subscribers and i am almost reaching a quarter million of views on my channel friend finally something is moving thank you youtube for that thank you to all of my subscribers for that i'm always going to try to give and provide the best but mainly give you the best of me, okay? For you to learn if that is 
uh, the motivation that you have by clicking on my videos. Thank you very much. I'm back, my friends, with one eye done. I'm not doing the typical kind of turkey, you know, Thanksgiving makeup look because this palette is just stunning. The makeup look is super simple. If you can observe underneath, the only thing I did was highlight my whole waterline and lash line with Tone 4 01 Cream Pencil. And on top, I seal it with this ivory shade from Natasha Danona. Okay, so that way the cool gel pencil doesn't move. You have never seen something like this before because I'm not bringing, you know, this kind of smokiness anywhere. It's super clean, it's super easy, doesn't require a wing line or cut line, anything. The makeup look is very simple. If you are looking to do something different for this upcoming Thanksgiving. So I'm going to proceed my friend with the swatches. The palette is a beauty. I can see four different formulas in this palette. You are not going to believe this. And I'm going to start this beautiful brown reddish sharp shade over here. And I have this gold kind of glittery but it's not that loose pigment to say that it is a glittery shade, okay? Very deceiving. And now I'm coming to the soft kind of ivory shade, this. And lastly, to this creamy, velvety, look at this, had a pink base. And this champagne shade had a pink base. The two pigment, both, by looking at the finger, can give you the impression of two metallic shades, okay? I'm going to swatch one more time. This is the champagne, and this is the gold. Look how elegant they are. And I'm going to start working on the transition shade, which is this shade here, this one, all the way above the crease and I'm bringing and pushing this shade all the way to the inner, okay? And a slightly bit where I can see or form the curvature, the natural curvature. The palette doesn't present any type of fallout. I'm telling you, it look super pigmented, you know, on the palette. But when you diffuse it, the friends, look how soft the shade it is. I'm using a MAC blending brush. It's a slightly bit dense. Then you can tell that because it's of the density, it's going to pack a lot of product. I love the quality of my brushes, friends. So now I'm coming to the matte shade and I'm going to be using the other side of the brush. So the matte shade is this gorgeous brownish, kind of reddish undertone, very warm, perfect for holidays. So I'm going to start packing this on my entire mobile eyelid. It is a matte but super creamy friends. I am in love friends with the concept of this makeup look because it's super simple. As you can observe also friends I'm not forming any specific you know shape on the eye with Victoria Beckham. I'm going to grab into this Sarin Kajal pencil in shade taupe and I'm going to apply it on my upper lash line and we're going to diffuse with upward movements with my my Kitco the 1.14 I'm going to start diffusing 
this product upward. As you can observe in the corner of my outer, I go with upward and rounding movements. Same here. Instead of dragging the shade all over my inner, I go in opposite direction as well here. The good thing about the Serenka gel, gel pencil from Victoria Beckham, which I love so much, is going to give you good enough time frames to diffuse and blend your product at its, as it is your wish. With this defining a MAC, it's another MAC, it's a precision brush. I'm going to be listing all of the product friends, but I want to provide as well the number. It's a 219S. As I just mentioned, I really love MAC coming with this product just on the inner here. Where we normally do the arrow or the arrow. And working with the excess upward. Now, with my finger, I'm going to start applying on the right center this shimmery double metallic shade. Look the effect of the coppery finish is giving this, and I take this product all the way to my crease. This is what we have. Look how easy it is to create this. So on top, I'm coming to this champagne and even on the right center of what I just applied, I come with a tiny little bit of application of this product. The effect is very beautiful, friends. Wow, I'm in love. Honestly, very in love with this palette. Now on the brow bone, look what I'm doing. Wow, this melt. So creamy. So beautifully creamy. And kind of metallic, friends. So you don't have to apply any product. Nothing, nothing at all to apply this product. And what makes this palette so easy to use. So you have, I have to look up. You can see the brightness and the light that the product is producing. I think it's just stunning. Now, grabbing my hourglass, the 1.5 millimeter mechanical gel pencil, I'm going to apply this product on my water upper water line, just on the upper water line, but I don't want to bring the product all the way to my inner, okay? This is in shade Obsidian. With my tone 4, I would like to say the 01 cream is a gel pencil. So now, as you can see, it's a lot of light on the lower. I think it, it gives, you know, a statement of a clean application. And that finish of a dreamful eye. See? This is from Natasha Danona, the Mini Xenon Palette. So you can keep intensifying your lower because the stamen is on the upper. I have my eyelash ready. I'm using Patty Lashes and it is called 3D Luxury Mink. This is the way it is. Have more 
lengthening on the outer as you can see on this eye super nice light easy to apply my friends i just finished applying the second eyelash on my eye i have to cut two clusters in order to make the right lengthening according to my eye and i'm going to apply now the ever full mascara xl ever full mascara from dolce and gabbana so what i'm doing i'm attaching my own eyelashes to the falsies or mirroring them okay look at the statement look how easy it is the effect of the makeup look you are going to celebrate thanksgiving with your family friends tone 4 on the shade cream If you are showing pieces of glue, because sometimes we can have tacky, you know, a little spot of glue, you just, with a good liquid eyeliner, you just go on top and soothe all of that imperfections. In my case, I didn't present any of that, so I don't have to retouch anything. This makeup look, friends, as I said it in the beginning, doesn't have any wing line because it is for you my loves if you don't know or you struggle producing or creating a wing line you don't know how to do it this is a perfect makeup look just to wear it without wing line with this airbrush flawless brightening powder from Charlotte Tilbury and the only purpose is as the word it says brightening i'm going to start applying this to even bring more light to this area look in comparison this eye to this eye look the effect oh wow doesn't dry the skin now we will proceed and we are coming to the bronze no i feel like using by terry is t to 10 look at this pretty it's neutral The application of the bronzer go above your halo this is my halo so I normally apply it in between this is the line invisible line from my outer all the way here so I don't pass the product you know from that line because you don't want a droopy face look how beautiful is the application of this powder like i'm saying is super natural how gorgeous it is the case as many of you know gucci launched two blushes for this holiday soft peach blush debuté number 10 the intense ruby is number 11. This is the number 10 soft peach. You want a soft touch of something, my friends? Look at this. Look how insipid this look on the palette, but look how it blend. This is Gucci soft peach. Valentino lunch this holiday releases eye to cheek 
blush duo blush and eyeshadow you can use it for both it is called the gold 04 sweet rebel from all of the collection because this is the best by the way in between parentheses friends valentino it is considered as one of the best formula on the market okay so you invest in this product you are investing on the best along with gucci it's the best quality of blushes you are going to find if i say blind silk i'm not making justice of the beautifulness of this product it's more intense than the peach but it's in between pink and peach So I'm going to proceed with the brush from BK Beauty 104 and applying this stunning blush on my cheeks and let us see how it is. We we'll start from and I'm going to make the blush as a very strong statement. Oh wow, look at that. My friends, this is the most fine, when I say fine friends, it's the fine luxurious type of formula. Surprisingly, I never bought this shade. I have from one all the way to the nine, but I skipped the four, I don't know why. And now when I saw, wow, they have the sweet revel and, and I really want to buy it. Look how buildable this product is, friends. And I'm bringing this all the way, the fading, you know, slightly bit the product. Oh, oh gorgeous. Mm. Put a tiny little bit here on the nose. Why not? Look, friends, <gasps> from far. Because let me tell you, the eyeshadow had pink base. Okay, so I think this shade is just stunning. Don't feel scared to give a good statement regarding your cheeks. Look at this. I feel so girly. Look how beautiful is this. Friends. How beautiful. Wow. In love with the shade. In love. And by consequence, I have to show this other beauty I ordered. Valentino Lunch, another product I to cheeks is gotta put a spike on it. It is a dual use blush eyeshadow, that is how it is defined. The gold, I think, so, okay. The name is because of the encase, it's just pure luxury, friends. It is the number 600. And Sweet Rebel, the number four, or 04. As I was saying, friends, Valentino have, I think, okay, it is the best product, the best blushes, and the best powders that you can find on the market. This is new to me. I have never had an illuminator before, but the good thing, you can apply this on the eye as well, and we can do it. As a little pop of light as well on top of what I have to see what is the impact. So let us use the brush then come package. It is this tiny little bit. Look at this, how pretty it is. I can see why the long bristles, friends, and super soft. It's not really dense, but perfect for the application of 
de iluminero. Okay, I start seeing it. My wow, friends. Let us say we want to apply a tiny little bit of this and I'm going to use a clean brush on the inner corner. Friends, this is super, super fine pearls infusion. Elegant as I cannot describe it. Let me try with my feet see what happened there oh my this definitely friends is reminding me to what Gucci produce for these holidays that I can have enough look at this mm. look friends have you ever seen something so beautiful? Look at the inner pop of light. Friends, if you haven't got yet this powder, friends, judge for yourself. I'm filming with 70% of natural light. I'm going to open my blind even more. I do have mature skin, friends. It's not enhancing the texture. But what I'm so stunned to be surprised is about the glow and wet, glossy, kind of mirror effect this is providing. But it's so gorgeous, it's so delicate, it's so elegant so here you have friends if you haven't seen these two valentino new releases friends cheek and glow from Dolce & Gabbana this is the shade I pick I order only one in the shade it is 210 Amethyst Rose it's this I just apply this beautifulness from Dolce & Gabbana from the collection Gemstone 210 Amethyst Rose I think it is just a gorgeous combination, friends. I couldn't be more excited and happy with the results, friend, of this makeup look. By seeing how beautiful, how pretty we can go for Thanksgiving occasion, friends, okay? It's easy, it's quick. Another product, friends, I've been unable to them with you it is stunning Hermes is Podre 24 Faubourg face and eyes illuminating powder 02 or rose another beauty friends look at that so you can see there this champagne is from Valentino this one you can observe the pearl more scattered to a difference and this one is more creamy right away by the texture and touching of the product look slightly more kind of a not rough but due to the nature is very creamy as well with a pink under pink base or pink undertone okay I think okay over here you're gonna observe it much better 
This is Hermes 02 or Rose. Look the way that this diffuse. Definitely this is going to give you a more glassy finish. These have bigger particles of pearls and these pearls are more on the creamy gel side. Soft as velvet. Today's video, my friends, has been a little bit of everything. Besides just of the makeup, I'm been showing you the latest purchase I've done so far on the releases for this holiday. I couldn't be more excited about the investment, friends. And coming back to this beautiful makeup look, friends, because I don't have enough from the performance of the product on my eyes. I hope that you are enjoying it as much as I am enjoying Let me tell you, this color, the 210 Amethyst Rose, oh my, is a daily go change. As you already know, I'm going to be taking the best from my shadow in this case to perform and to show how much you can expect from a product if happen, you are thinking on investing on something like this. Beautiful, highly recommended, no fallout. Formula is creamy as crazy. Let me explain to you something. I'm going to be traveling to New Zealand very soon. To be honest, probably in a couple of weeks more. I'm going to be making a video regarding the product I'm going to carry up with me. Over there, uh, they are on spring. I want to show you what I just got from Beautylish. I ordered something. I hope that I surprise you. I'm going to be making especially videos dedicated to this product, friends. If I'm telling you, we have so much work to do, so much to play here. Wow. I ordered this new Starlight Glow CC Highlighter from By. Theory. I just show you what I did use for my bronzer friends. I can have enough from this product. It's so gorgeous. Highly recommend a friend. Okay, look at this gorgeousness. Oh my, but look at this in case. Wow, look like a perfect diamond friends. Wow. This is a 02 Fairy Flirt. Extremely soft. Oh my. I can use perfectly this as a blush as well. Friends, I have to use this. Oh my. So gorgeous, friends. I think it's okay. I picked the right shade. And I'm very, very, very satisfied with my my choice and i picked the number it is the 03 copper carries luminizing powder all over glow reflector let us see what it is oh, friends it's so beautiful Oof. okay we have the first shade Look, I'm very fair on this area. I know that the chain might be looking intimidating, but let me tell you, I can play so much with this product, friends. Bronzer, if I want something softer, some little glow on the cheek. Let us see how this might look. If I apply a tiny little bit on top of this. <laughs> Why not? The product is to be played around Okay. Look at this. Why not, friends? Why not? Oh, this product is just stunning to use it as a bronzer. Stunning as it can be. Are you seeing this, friends? 
can be used as a bronzer, can be used as a blush, can be used on your eyes. Oh my, look at this. I just applied it in a little bit. It's so gorgeous, friends. I won't lie to you. I never lie. For Thanksgiving, as you imagine, it's so much I have to do so much to demo. I'm going to be working with this product in a different video. Valentino, all the Dolce & Gabbana production I just got and give you more ideas regarding, you know, uh, what the makeup industry are been launching. Look at this, friends, from Christian Dior. I haven't had the, ch the chance actually to be playing with this product. These are the two limit, limit edition. It's a holiday limit edition. So I would like to say that this, this beautiful upcoming holidays was crazy with all the luminizer. This is one. Let's look, this is from Christian Dior. This look more pink undertone and this is more champagne. Very pleased, very pleased with this. I can wait, friends, to give you a full makeup tutorial because we're going to be making a tutorial. I want to give you a tutorial in which I can demo and show you the performance of the product rather than just short because on the short you can appreciate very much the product. The other purchase, friends, I did because I was needing this product on my collection is the Pat McGrath are these cream blushes I bought my I would like to say with this one I complete the collection the name is Electric Bloom Glow oh look at this oh, let us see look at this friends but as you know friends but my grab product, in my opinion, are another brand. Oof, look at this, friends. I put a lot. You can use it on the lip as well. It's a blush balm. Look how much you can diffuse this product. And they are going to look stunning. This is like a, a red. This famous color and it's super in now. Wow. I love it because this product is so easy to use. We're going to be speaking about that, you know, um, the performance. I invest on this other shade because the performance of those products are so easy. If you are a beginning friend and you love, you know, or you are more advanced and you love belayering your product and nothing better than Pat McGrath blushes, bone blushes. With this, my friends, and we this gorgeous makeup look, friend. Look at this. I say goodbye for now. Thank God I'm feeling better. Reaching 4,100 subscribers. Thank you very much for that. Thank you for giving me the love, for giving me a little space on your busy schedule. Thank you for commenting on my videos. Thank you for being so awesome. I bless you all, friends. Hoping that you really enjoy this makeup look. And see you in the next one. Bye.